again folks, this is Wayne Hart back with another lesson and today we're looking at one of my favourite Oasis B-sides, Rocking Chair. I did this one about six years ago, I wanted to do a new version, this is a sort of a more accurate version I think. Now if you do want the chords, the lyrics and the strumming pattern, as always I'm going to post it up on my Patreon page, there'll be a link to that in the description, I'll also put a link in the comments. And the way that that works, you just uh, subscribe for as little as a couple of quid a month or however much you can afford and you get access to not only this song, pretty much everything I've done over the past 12 months. And if you are a patron and something isn't there, all you've got to do is find me a message over and I'm more than willing to put it up. Uh, I must say the funding from that as well, you know, really, really helps me out. It helps pay for my time, you know, the filming, the editing, the research for these lessons. And it also gives you guys access to all my notes as well. So, you know, strumming patterns and things like that. So, uh, like I say, go over and check that out. Uh, if you are subscribed, thank you very much. A further way you could help me out is hitting that little notification bell that's somewhere down there. Uh, and if you want to as well, please go over and give me a like on social media. So I'm Wayne Argiton on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and now also TikTok, as you always say, I'm trying to get down with the kids. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling without further ado. Let's get to it. Okay, so this song is in standard tuning. And first of all, for the intro, which is also going to run through the first part of the verse, you're going to want a C chord. A C slash B, so all that would be from a regular C chord, you're just going to take the third finger off. Keep the first finger where it is, move the second finger up to the second fret on the A string. That's a C slash B, and then we're going to go from A minor for two bars. So what we get is a C, C slash B, A minor. Okay, so that's going to go around four times for the intro. And then uh, when we go into the verse, the first three chords are going to be the same. You see, you see slash B, and then an A minor. And then we're going to go to an F major 7. Now, uh, as I do in a lot of my videos, I'm doing the F major 7 with the C bass in. Okay, so all that will be, take your regular F major 7 and move your third finger to the third fret on the A string, little pinky third fret on the D string. Okay, then there's a quick change from the F to a C. We go to a G, it's up to you what G you use, you can use a four finger G, I think it's a little bit easier going to the, you know, the three fingered uh, G with my second, third, little pinky. Then we're going to go to a D7, and then we're going to go back to the F, and then all that goes around again. So I'm just going to sing that verse, so you can see how all that gels together. So starting on the C we've got, I'm older now and I wish to be, this town holds no more for me. So we go. F, C, G, then a D7, back to F, I don't care for your attitude, you bring me down, I think you're through, all my life, I try to make a better day. Okay, so that's going to be a verse, so then the chorus chords are going to be an E minor, to an A minor, we do that again, E minor to A minor, and I'm going to do the F again, and then we're going to go E to an E7, so all that will be regular E chord, you're just going to take your, your third finger off, and that all goes around twice, so I'll just sing that through, so, it's hard enough being alone, sitting here by the phone, waiting for my man to be. E, E7 It's hard enough sitting there Rocking in your rocking chair There's so too much for me to take When you're not there Okay, so then we've got this little interlude that goes around twice And basically it's the same chords for the verse So what we get is a C C slash B a minor, and we got F, C, G, D7, F, that goes around again, C, C slash B, A minor, F, C, G, D7, back to the F, and then we got another chorus. Okay, uh, 
so after that uh, second chorus we go into verse 2 um, which is exactly the same as the, the other verse with the chords and everything we go into the last chorus and the outro is just the same as the beginning which is a C the C slash B and the A minor which goes around four times <laughs> only really two parts you need for that song you just need the chords to the you know the verse and the chorus and the intro is just that you know the C C slash B and the A minor so pretty straightforward no bar chords all right so a strumming pattern I tend to mix it up as I go along a little bit but one that would get you through the song that works quite well is a down down up up down up so that's down down up up down up hear that around the chords Okay, thanks very much for watching. Hope you all dug that. Uh, one of my favourite Oasis B sides. Absolutely amazing that song. Sorry, I can't sort of sing it in the key of Liam anymore. I can't sing that. I really struggle in that key. But uh, at the end of the day, this is not a singing lesson. It's a guitar lesson. I'm just here to show you the chords, and you can go off and do your own thing with it. But uh, it is quite a difficult song to sing this one. But uh, there you go. Hope you all dug that. If you got any other requests for any other Oasis Liam Noel tunes, I've done the lion's share of them. I've done quite a lot. I am sort of reading doing a few sort of because uh, I just want to do sort of better versions of them so but if there is any you'd like to see or anything doesn't have to be anything Oasis related anything 50s to modern day works well on an acoustic or an electric guitar within reason so a lot of you know the drill now you can leave a comment in the post below or if you want to find your personal message over on those social media platforms I suggested at the start of the video you're very welcome to I just always point out that I do get quite a lot and I do have to hemp it them a little bit but don't let that put you off please do keep your requests coming because that's what keeps this channel going and it's very much appreciated another thing that's very much appreciated I'll quickly mention it again if you are subscribed hitting that little notification bell up somewhere I think it's that side actually somewhere down there so if you want to go over and uh, click that you'll get notified every time I post a video up so you can keep up to date uh, another thing is a patron thing sorry to keep banging on about it but that really helps me out and it's a way of helping you guys out as well if you want to print you know the chords the lyrics and the strumming patterns and everything off to coincide with the songs there's also some stuff there that isn't on YouTube so like I say go over and check that out and another thing I always say word of mouth is a powerful thing so if you dig what I do please like and share my videos tell your friends tell your work colleagues anyone you know plays a guitar please point them in my direction I really appreciate that so that just leads me to say have a great morning day night whenever it is you're watching and I'll catch you all for last and very soon take care